Hey, I'm Jesse, and I'm here today to talk about our brand new Wabi Sabi teapot and why this is special. So first off, I'd like to just mention Wabi Sabi as a concept and explain it a little bit because a lot of people are not familiar with the terms Wabi Sabi. What is that? What does that mean? And why did we call this pot the Wabi Sabi teapot? So Wabi Sabi is more of a thought process and a concept than a specific definition. But to give you an idea of what Wabi Sabi is about, it's Japanese and it means the notion of beauty through rugged and natural materials. So for example, a beautiful river stone that's been softened by years of rushing water out in nature could have the elements of Wabi Sabi. The tea bar here, actually at Samovar, has the element of Wabi Sabi. It's made out of a 1200 year old, aged, super old redwood grove tree that we have reclaimed from the forest and used here. And we've maintained the natural, rugged, used, ancient qualities that are beautiful and presented them again in a new way, slightly artistic. So Wabi Sabi is something that has this natural, rugged beauty that has this affinity towards really nature and elements that are not highly refined or processed. Aluminum would never be Wabi Sabi. Stainless steel and glass and those kind of things really don't have the embodiment of Wabi Sabi. The Japanese Zen tea garden, of course, would have a lot of Wabi Sabi elements. The scroll here behind me is slightly aged and weathered and beautiful. And through that aged ruggedness, there is Wabi Sabi. All right, enough about that. This teapot. We call this the Wabi Sabi teapot because of the natural glaze on the outside, the imperfections that you can see. Every one of these is different and unique, and yet the function is the same. So what's so special about this teapot and why do we pick it? All right, this is the ultimate teapot for these reasons. How you hold it, your thumb or your fingers, two fingers or one, don't get burned. So a lot of pots out there are too big and they require too much hand holding or the actual handle is too close to the pot that your fingers get burned and it singes you. It's a very small detail and very critical and we love how this one, there's no touch. You see the space in there? Perfect, perfect size for one finger or two. Okay, the second thing is how simple and elegant this pod is without any unnecessary components. So I'm a fan for sure of locking tea lids, those kinds that have a little gadget on the inside that keeps this from falling out. But I'm a more fan, I'm a larger fan of simplicity. So this has no locking lid. What it does have is a natural place for your thumb to sit, just like this. So your thumb becomes a locking mechanism to keep the lid from falling off. It's no work, no extra work to think about where your thumb goes, it just fits here naturally. So it's perfect. The lid also has a breathing hole, so no liquid will get backed up and cause it to come out in splashes. You have a very, very even arcing pour, a beautiful pour. Because of the fact that the air comes in at a fast enough rate and because of how the spout is designed, it's short enough like a traditional yixing pot that's used for pu'er, but also long enough to provide some, some momentum going forward. Also, you can probably not see here, we'll do a close up in a moment, but it's a very sharp finish on the tip here. Not too sharp so that it would break off, but sharp enough to keep any drips from happening. And that's awesome. Having a fairly drip free, almost 100%, not any pot is really guaranteed to be drip free, but really darn close. The drip free quality of this is really cool. Um, the other point is the size. This is perfect for one large or two small size cups of tea. Awesome for sharing or having your own experience. The other side of the size component here is that it's small enough to brew tea right. And by brew tea right, I mean add a lot of tea and brew it for a short amount of time, brew it over and over, just multiple infusions. So this has a great inner, inner quality body here. It's all glazed, so you're not gonna get any buildup of residue. You can brew Earl Grey, and then you can brew Essentia in here, many different kinds of tea. It'll handle them all. It'll brew them concentrated, so it tastes great. Great aroma. Also, really nice to be able to smell the aroma from here, like you would in a Gaiwan. And overall, just the really the, um, the ultimate pot. This is the Wabi Sabi teapot. So you have the handle, you have the natural thumb locking lid, you have the great arcing pour, you have the perfect size. And on the inside, I'm gonna do a little close up here for you. 
This is an, incidentally is made in Japan, so a lot of the high quality materials that you see in teaware you have with this pot. You have a really awesome inner mesh strainer that actually circles the entire inside of this pot. You see the natural flecking here. It's part of the beautiful quality of this here pot. Um, but this allows you to really brew rooibos and really small, fine-grained teas, as well as large, loose ones. And that's it. That's the Wabi Sabi teapot. And that sells for $20. So please do check it out. Thank you so much.